Hello and welcome to my Excel Dashboard Templates tutorial brought to you by Steve True. I'm Steve True of ExcelDashboardTemplates.com. Today we're going to be making a sample tutorial on how to make two intersecting lines in an Excel chart. So uh, Dunks from the Mr. Excel forum wrote in, uh, I have two values, internal and external. Both of these are scores. I want to plot them on a graph so that the internal is the X value with the line going right and plot the external as an x-axis with the line going up. The idea is to find the intersection point of the two lines. Thanks, Dox. Let's uh, see how we can do this. Um, so we have a line going vertical and a line going horizontal, just like he's looking for. External going up, internal going to the right, and an intersection point. So how can we do this? Most people might try and do this with a line chart, uh, but our sample tutorial is going to do a different way. Uh, because a line chart is really too difficult to make lines intersect like that since a line chart is more of a series. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up our data. We've got internal X's and internal Y's because we're going to make a scatter line chart. So Excel doesn't look at this format in any special way. This is really for us to understand which ones are our X's and which ones are our Y's. We're going to kind of go back to the graphing that we used to do as children and have two points make up each one of these lines one XY and another XY. So we're going to create two individual series, actually three, one final one for the intersection point. So let's, let's get started. We're going to go up and uh, select a blank cell away from our data. We're going to go to the insert menu, the scatter graphs charts, um, and we're going to select a scatter with a line in order to start our process here. So we're away from the data so that Excel doesn't try and put any data into our chart right off the bat. Um, and so as you can see, I've got uh, a blank chart here selected. And what we're going to do is go ahead and create some series. So we're going to go up to the design ribbon. We're going to go to the select data grouping. And uh, it brings up a dialog box. And now we're going to click on add in the series area in order to create a couple of series for each one of the lines. So it brings up another dialog box. Pull that over. And so we've got the series name. We're going to click on external so we can change the name and show that on the graph. For the X values, we're going to highlight C1 to D1. And then for the Y values, delete that. And then we're going to highlight C2 to D2. Let's click on OK. And as you can see that that has already made our vertical line that we're looking for out of those data points. So it's plotting two different points. So let's click on OK. Now let's click on Add and do the horizontal line. This one we're going to click on Internal on A3 so we can change the name in our graph if we want since it's now a series. We're going to do C3 to D3 for our X series. And then for our Y series we're going to do C4 to D4. There we go. And you can see our horizontal line has been plotted between those two XY points. And so now we have an intersecting line, just what they're looking for. But he also wanted to see the point that it's intersecting. Well, let's just add that to the graph instead of trying to make it up um, visually. We can actually click on the two points. And since these are straight lines and they have slopes of 0 or 1, just put two points out there called the intersection x, y, um, and tied those to the other data series. So we're going to select C6 and the y value of C7. And click on OK, and you'll see it'll add a point to our chart in green there. And let's click on OK. If we cancel here, we'll lose all our changes. So we want to make sure we click OK. We click on OK, and you can see now there's our intersection point and our two different lines. Now, um, let's go ahead and uh, format the selection. Let's make that marker option a little bigger. So I'm going to click on Built-in. I don't want a triangle. I want a square. And uh, yeah, let's just leave it as a square. And so you can see that point show up a little better than the triangle as the intersection in our chart. Now, um, let's change these chart types on the design ribbon. I selected the line, and I want to change the chart to just a line without markers. So let's do that on the first line. Let's select the next line under the design ribbon, change chart type. Let's change it to an XY line without markers. And there, now we have exactly what Dunks was looking for, intersecting charts. Let's go over and see how we did. Um, and we can also change these. Let's say we want 15 as our 
vertical line and our horizontal line. I've created formulas in there that look and see what those values are in the yellow cells. Uh, we can go one and it'll resize everything. We could even change how far do we want the ex intersection point to extension of the intersection, just 10%. Do we want to go 25% or 50%? Let's try 50%. You can see the extension of those lines go out a little farther. So that's really up to you. You get to customize that with this incredible demo. You can actually download this file from my website and try it yourself. Uh, so please go to Excel dashboardtemplates.com. That's where you'll be able to find the file that you can download. And uh, so let's go ahead and copy that over to the other sheet and see. Looks just like what I think he was looking for. Um, we've got the two lines, one vertical, one horizontal. We've got an intersection point. And uh, once again, you can find the download file, the sample download file on my website. This is Steve True at uh, excel-dashboardtemplates.com. I want to thank you for checking out this tutorial. We have some other great tutorials and things on our website. And also, please sign up uh, um, for my RSS feed. And also, leave me your comments and feedback. What would you like me to see to try and graph? Uh, we will keep working and seeing how we can help you make awesome Excel charts with Excel 2007. Thank you.